let's discuss question three, which says that you have two variable points A and B on the x-axis and the y-axis. And the line segment joining these two points is of length 2D and it's fixed. And C is the midpoint of that line segment. And P is a given point where some conditions should be met. Like P and the origin are on the opposite sides of AB. And PC is a line segment of length D. And it's perpendicular to AB. And we have to find the locus of P. So let's first draw the diagram. Now, here you have this AB. So A is on the X axis and B is on the Y axis. So you have the midpoint of AB as C and we have a point P such that whenever PC is joined, it's perpendicular on AB and obviously it's on the opposite side of uh, this origin. So now if you take the point A to be x comma zero and since the point B is lying on the y axis, so let's take it to be zero comma y. Now from the given conditions that is this length AB is of length 2D. And so since we have taken our coordinate of A as X comma zero, so this length is of X and this length is of Y. And so from Pythagoras theorem, we have X squared plus Y squared is equals to 4D squared. And the coordinates of C is nothing but X over two comma Y over two. And now if you find out the AB vector, so it's minus X comma Y. And since PC is perpendicular on AB, and so we have the orthogonal vector to be Y over root over of x squared plus y squared and x over root over of x squared plus y squared. And we know that x squared plus y squared is 4d squared. So if you take, up, take it out from the root over portion, so you get 1 by 2d y comma x. And so now if you want to find out the vector PC, that is nothing but its length is given to be D. And so it's D times the vector E. And so that is one over two D times D Y comma X. And that is 1 over 2 y comma x and from here what we can get is the coordinates of p and so the coordinates of p are the coordinates of c that is x over 2 plus y over 2 and y over 2 plus x over 2 so this is the coordinates of uh, P, the point P. And so that is X plus Y over two, X plus Y over two. And so from this given coordinates of P, we can say that the point is lying on the line Y equals to X. And so since the point P is lying on the line Y equals to X, so that means its locus will be a straight line. But again, it's not covering the whole of 
the line y equals to x so a part of it so then we have to find its minimum and the maximum now we have the condition that is x square plus y square equals to 4d square and we have to find the maxima and minima of x plus y over 2 and now if you apply the inequality that is rms that is root mean square inequality greater than equals to am that is arithmetic mean and so we get root over of x square plus y square by 2 is greater than equals to x plus y over 2 and so from here we get root over of 4 d square by 2 is greater than equals to x plus y over 2 and so this is equal to root 2 times d greater than equals to x plus y over 2 and now we know that the equality occurs when the two variables are equal so we get x plus x over 2 is equals to root 2 d and so we get x is equals to root 2 d and so the y value will also be root 2 d and so the maximum value for x plus y over 2 is root 2 d and it is attained for the point root 2 d comma root 2 d now to find the minimum value of x plus y by 2 so let's take the help of trigonometry and let's take this angle to be theta then by the projection rule we can say that x is equal to 2d cos theta and y is equal to 2d sin theta now we have to find the minimum value of x plus y over 2 which is 2d cos theta plus sin theta by 2 and that is d cos theta plus sin theta and what is the range of theta as you can see the range of theta is 0 to pi by 2 okay so since it has to lie in the first quadrant so the range of theta will be from 0 to pi over 2 so theta is from 0 to pi over 2 and in this range now we, let's multiply with root 2 and divide by root 2 cos theta plus 1 by root 2 sin theta which is equals to d times root 2 sin theta plus pi by 4 now theta plus pi by 4 is ranging from pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4 and now since theta plus pi by 4 is inside the open interval pi over 4 to 3 pi by 4 so we have sine theta plus pi by 4 will always be strictly greater than 1 by root 2 and so root 2 sine theta plus pi by 4 will be greater than 1 and so this x plus y over 2 will be strictly greater than d times 1 that is equal to d and so the locus of p will be t comma t such that t is strictly greater than d and lesser than equals to root 2 d and so we are done with question 3